I'm JC DeVoe, I'm 14 years old and I love teaching yoga. Welcome, this is an energizing flow class. Here I have Miley, she's gonna be demonstrating and we can get started. We're gonna go into a nice comfortable seated position. You can cross the legs. Go ahead, sit up nice and tall. Okay, slowly start to close the eyes. Just deepen the breath. And allowing all the thoughts that are in the mind, just let them start to float away. We're going to come up with a mantra and intention for this class. A word or a quote, something that inspires you. We're going to let that be our focus. Take three more deep breaths here. Last one. Go ahead, start to float, open the eyes. From here, we're gonna keep the legs where they are and just on the inhale, raise the arms up and out towards the sky. And on the exhale, you can release them down behind you and release the hands behind the back, roll out the shoulders. And as you exhale, bring the arms out forward, kind of curl through the back here. And we'll come back to center. Let's do that a few more times. On the inhale, raising the arms up. And on the exhale, go ahead and release them down. Inhale, interlace, open up the shoulders. Exhale, round forward, bring the arms out. We'll come back to center last time. Inhale, exhale, release the hands down. Interlace the hands, open up the shoulders. Exhale, release the arms out in front, curl through the back. And bring the palms together, back heart center. Let's close the eyes here. Take a few deep breaths. You can float the arms open, and you can let the arms come up towards the sky. Good, here, drop the right hand down towards the shoulder. Good, just like that. Grab a hold of the elbow. Good. And so we start to inhale, breathe. We're gonna lengthen through the spine here, opening up. So here we don't wanna slouch through. You wanna kind of extend here as Miley is showing you. A few more deep breaths. Good, then exhale, go ahead and release those arms back down. We're gonna come into a forward fold here. So keeping the legs again where they are, on the exhale, start to walk the hand down. Again, here we're sinking through the hips down, relaxing the head. And then on the inhale, go ahead and start to walk the hands back up. And from here, we're just gonna do a gently switch with the legs. So one way they cross, cross them the other way that you normally don't do. And then inhale, arms are gonna reach up. And then the left hand just drops down, bend at the elbow. Go ahead, grab a hold of it. Good. So here again, we're extending, lengthening through the spine. Breathing up, gazing forward. And then you can release the arms out alongside you. 
and we're going to start to come into our forward fold. So bring the arms out in front. And on the exhale, start to walk the fingertips down, coming a little bit deeper. You can allow your head to relax and surrender down. A few more deep breaths here. Okay, and then slowly start to walk the hands back up. Okay, and from here, go ahead and roll over the knees. We're gonna come onto all fours. Okay, so here again, I want you to make sure that the wrists are stacked underneath the shoulders and the knees are gonna be stacked underneath the hips. So we're gonna have nice form. On the inhale, go ahead and drop the belly, gaze forward. And on the exhale, round through the spine. Open the back of the heart up towards the sky. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, round back. So I want you to flow here at your own pace. On the inhale, it's coming forward. And on the exhale, it's coming back. Here, you can even add a little bit of side movement if you like. So if you're coming forward, maybe rounding out to the side on the exhale. Maybe coming back forward. Rounding. Again, this is just a flow here. Anything that feels good, either if it's just straight cat cow or stretching, adding a little bit of a variation. Do one way around here. We'll come back to neutral. Go ahead, tuck the toes under. We're going to lift the knees just about an inch above our mat. Okay, so here we're gonna engage the core, find nice form. Good, exhale, downward facing dog, lift the hips up. Okay, so here, as you can see, you can bend the knees a little bit if you want, just to get a little bit of arch in the spine, so that's a modification. Otherwise, you can straighten through the legs. Okay. Relaxing the head down. Again, let's bring awareness to our fingertips, pressing through the wrists, the knuckles, and each finger. Let's take a few deep breaths here. And now let's start to bend the knees out one at a time. So maybe straightening one, bending the other. And then we'll come back to solid lifting up. And inhale, let's shift forward to a high plank. Good, so here in our high plank, you want to squeeze the core in, tuck the tailbone, and kind of have the wrist stacked underneath the shoulders. We're going to breathe here for a few breaths, holding our core. Good, feeling strong and solid here. And then you can either drop the knees down as a modification or you can keep them straight up. And then we're gonna lower it down towards the floor. We're gonna come all the way down on your stomachs, relax the head down. On the inhale, we're gonna come up to baby cobra, so using the shoulders to lift us up. Then exhale, release the shoulders and head back down. We're going to come to full cobra now, so inhale, pressing through the arms, lifting up, squeezing through the back here, breathing, and you want to keep a nice gaze forward, so you don't want to go too far back with the neck, you want to just have a nice gaze to keep the breath flowing. And then exhale, go ahead, tuck through the toes, round all the way back up, downward facing dog. And inhale, gaze in between the hands. Exhale, gently step both feet coming into a forward fold. And here, exhale, go ahead, release, letting the head go. And you can always bend the knees here as a modification. Inhale, let's lift up halfway, gazing forward. And exhale, forward fold, releasing down. Inhale, arms extend all the way up to the sky. Exhale, palms down the heart center. Go ahead, close the eyes. Take a few more deep breaths here. Okay, you can float the eyes back open. We're gonna extend the arms out. We're gonna sink down into a chair pose. Good, so here you wanna tuck through the tailbone. Imagine as if you're sitting in a chair. You can bring the hands together at heart center. And I want you on each exhale to sink a little bit deeper. 
almost as if you could reach down towards the mat, touch and bring arms back up. Okay. And exhale forward fold, release it all down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Plant the hands, step back to a high plank. Here we'll drop down onto the forearms and we're gonna come into a forearm plank. So you can bring both forearms down. Good, you can grab a hold of the fingertips together and then lift the legs up. So we're coming back into this plank here. So I want you to tuck through the tailbone here, squeeze in your core. Take a few more deep breaths. And we're going to come into Dolphin's Pose. So it's just a modified version of Downward Facing Tog. So let's lift the hips up and walk the feet closer in. That's our breathing here. Good. Then you can drop the knees back down. I'm going to rest into a Child's Pose for a few deep breaths. Good. So here, relaxing the hips down towards the mat the chest, the head. And then on the inhale, let's rise back up onto all fours into a downward facing dog. Good, so here you can bring the big toes together along the midline of your mat. And then on the inhale, raise just the right leg up. Good, so here we're gonna do a little bit of a flow, but I want you to make sure they have a strong foundation with the hips. You wanna keep them square. Good, and then as you exhale, let's bring the knee to the nose, curl in using the core, rounding the head. Good, and then inhale, release the leg back up to the sky. Good, then we're gonna cross that knee towards the opposite elbow, over to the left, and then inhale back up. So we're using the core here. And we're gonna bring it towards the outer edge of the right elbow this time. Inhale, back up. Let's take a break right here with the leg up. Full cycle of breath, keeping the hips square. We're gonna do that one more time. Exhale, knee to nose, curl in. Use the head too to curl. And inhale, back up. Let's cross to the left side. Bring the knee towards the elbow. Inhale, back up. And we'll bring it towards the outer edge of the right elbow. All right, last time, bring that leg up. And you can slowly start to step that foot all the way through, coming into a high lunge. Good, so here, there's some, as a modification, you can lower down the back knee and untuck the toes. Otherwise, you can keep the toes tucked and lift the back leg off the floor. Another thing I want you to bring awareness to is make sure that you have your ankle stacked underneath your knee. Good, then inhale, gaze forward, find your balance as you raise the arms up. Okay, so you wanna feel strong here, have a nice solid foundation with the legs. Okay, and then we're just gonna stay here in this lunge and just bring the arms down into cactus. And inhale, bring the arms back up. And we're gonna take the back heel, we're gonna come into warrior one. So if you watch Melly's back heel, she's placing it down and kind of adjusting it here. Good, and as she inhales, she can bring her arms back up. And so you can even widen the stance, perfect. And you don't wanna have the knee going too far back or too far forward, so a little bit more, just so it's stacked above, good. Inhale, the arms up here. Again, relaxing through the shoulders. And then you can release just the hands alongside you. Interlace the hands behind the back. Open up the shoulders. Good. We're going to come into Humble Warrior here. Coming on the exhale, folding forward on the inside of the leg. Get to breathing here. Feeling strong base with both legs. One more deep breath. On the inhale, let's rise back up. Arms can extend into our warrior one. Good, exhale, good. Plant the hands back down, frame the foot. Tuck the back toe, let's come into a high plank. Good, again, we're gonna hold here in our high plank, squeezing the core, tucking the tailbone under. Good, and Chaturanga, you could drop the knees if you like. Inhale up to Cobra. Exhale, down dog. And 
breathe here. Good, then we're gonna bring the big toes back to, again together along the midline of the mat. Inhale, raise the left leg up with the opposite leg that you did last. And again, we're keeping in mind our hips want to be square here. Exhale, knee to nose. Curl in towards the chest, hover that leg above the floor. Inhale, back up. Good, breathing here. Then we're gonna take that knee, we're gonna cross it to the right side. Good, just like Miley shows. Inhale, back up. Now we're gonna bring it towards the other side of the left elbow. Good, hovering it. Inhale, back up. Good, take a break in between. Then we do that one more time. Exhale, knee to nose. Curl in with the head. Inhale, back up. Good, let's cross it towards the right elbow. Inhale up. Okay, maybe readjusting your down dog if you need, bring it closer together. We're gonna bring it towards the outer side of the left elbow, last time. Inhale, back up. And we're gonna set that all the way through, coming into a lunge. So you can have a modification of lowering down the back knee and untucking the toes and doing it like this. Otherwise, you can tuck the toes under, lift that knee up. Good, find a strong base, gazing forward. Let's bring awareness to the ankle. Let's bring the foot a little bit more forward, a little bit more. So we wanna have a nice stacked knee over knee the ankle. So inhale, rise the arms up once you find that solid foundation. Okay, we're gonna breathe here. And then keep the legs where they are. Just release the hands alongside you. Interlace the hands behind the back. Open up the shoulders. Good. And you can actually release the hands. We're gonna adjust the back foot coming into warrior one. So if you can see here, Miley's gonna place her back heel down and then bring the arms up. Then she can interlace them behind the back. Good, so this is gonna prop us up here for humble warrior. And on the exhale, we can come into Humble Warrior, coming on the inside of the thigh. Good, so breathing here. Let's bring this out towards the side more. Yes, just like that. And inhale, let's come back up. Release those arms. We're gonna come up to Warrior One for a few breaths. Exhale, plant the hands back down. Go ahead, bring the knees back into a child's pose. But for a child's pose, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into embryo. So release back, knees come together, and arms are gonna come alongside you. Good. Relaxing the head here. Take a few more deep breaths. Good, and then go ahead and extend the arms back out in front. Let's raise up onto all fours and exhale, tuck back downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze in between the hands. Exhale, step both feet leaning in a forward fold at the top of your mat. Good, here we're gonna come seated all the way down onto our mat, so bend through the knees. We're gonna come seated and we're gonna just gently rock the knees up coming into boat pose. So you can start off by grabbing underneath the knees like here and open up through the heart. Then slowly start to rock, use the core, lift the legs up. Good, so you can either stay here or you can just extend the arms out with the knees bent your choice or for more core workout you can row your boat <laughs> so whichever one you choose to do we're gonna hold here for a little bit make sure that you're breathing and then extend the arms out and we're just gonna lower down about an inch above the floor and we're gonna hover there good then inhale come back up 
One more time. Exhale, hover. And inhale up. Good. Then you can release the feet down. We're going to come lying down all the way to our backs. Good. Let's just hug the knees into the chest here. Take a little break. Close the eyes. A few more deep breaths here. Good, and then we're gonna do a little bit of a core exercise. So this is basically called Yogi Bicycle. So you can go ahead and grab, just like how Miley's doing, she's gonna grab her head just with her arms. And then she's gonna basically Extend one leg out, keep one knee bent, and turn her body towards the knee that's bent. Good, and then she's gonna switch, kicking the other legs out, crossing. Good, so here I'm gonna let Miley kind of flow into this, going from side to side. And you can make this as fast or as slow as you like. Good, so just squeezing through the core. And each time you turn, make sure that you're exhaling, you're breathing. You can do this a little bit longer. Squeezing through the core. Maybe picking up the pace. Maybe slowing it down. And then next what we're gonna do is don't place the feet down. Just relax the arms down alongside you. Kind of create a little bit of a kind of brace for yourself. And we're just gonna extend one leg out about an inch above the floor. And keep the other one bent. We're gonna switch. We're just doing the motion with our legs here. We're gonna do this for a little bit to kind of engage our core. So you can breathe here on the exhale, getting through this. You can pick up the pace, go slower if you like. Good. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Exhale, release the legs down out in front. Good, extend the arms out overhead. Just do a nice full body stretch here. Okay, and then we'll bring the knees back into the chest. We're gonna keep the left knee into the chest, extend the right leg out straight, and then go ahead, place this little foot down onto the floor. Extend the arms out into a T, and we're gonna come into a twist, bringing that knee over towards the side. Good. So on the inhale, we're gonna lengthen through the spine, and on the exhale, go deeper into the twist. And if this is too much, you can just bring both of the knees together. Otherwise, you can breathe here. And we'll come back to center. Bring the knees into the chest. And also another option, you can grab the big toes extending into happy baby. You can choose either if you want to go in happy baby or knees and chest for a few deep breaths to relax the spine. Good, then straighten out the left leg. We're going to keep the right knee bent. You can place the sole of the foot down onto the floor. Good. So once this foot has came down, you can extend the arms back out into the T position you have. And on the exhale, bring that knee and going to cross it over towards the left side. On the inhale, lengthen through the spine. And on the exhale, go deeper into the twist, gazing over the opposite shoulder. And if this is too much for you, you can just bring both knees together on the side. We'll come back to center, bringing both knees into the chest. Okay, and then here you're going to just drop the soles of the feet down towards the floor. And then you can kind of 
stay here and we're gonna work on a half bridge. You can release the hands down alongside you. So Miley, if you wanna square up with the mat a little bit. Yeah, just like that. Okay, perfect. So from here, I want you to just take an inhale and tuck the tailbone. And so this is gonna take the motion of lifting the hips up. Keep the knees just about hip distance. I want you to breathe here. You can interlace the hands underneath the back in between. And really the whole motion here is just tucking through the tailbone, lifting up. And exhale, go ahead and release that down. Swing the knees into the chest. One more deep breath here. And then we're gonna release those legs out coming into Savasana. Good, so here you can slowly start to close the eyes. Deep in the breath. And slowly start to let go of the breath. You can just let it come in naturally. Slowly starting to deepen the breath. So we got the fingers and the toes. When you're ready, you can start to make your way over onto a side. We'll start to make our way up to a seated position, the top of our mats. Once we come back up seated where we started from, let's up nice and tall. Keeping the palms together at heart center, allow the head to gently bow. Thanking yourself for coming to the mat today. And as a light in me, honors a light in you. Namaste.